Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. This is our third video in this series. In this section, we are going to discuss about MEC pattern. So, MEC pattern is nothing but it's a model V controller. So, model. What is model? It's uh, this model we just handling a data and view it's displaying a component it's only display purpose and controller all business logic we can do so for example I will show you one slide here here you can see that this is pattern model view pattern in this view we have that two inputs and uh, two label and uh, one button while running this application if you have that view controller without any functions and the model then only it will display this screen whenever user give input and uh, press button that time it never any action it will run if you want to something some function if you need to process then we go to controller so this controller we can write our all functions and our business logics so in this example user gives the two inputs and Whenever user press the AND button, then it triggered to controller this ADD button event, then its corresponding function it will trigger. We write some additional function, or function logic in the controller, right? So that function it will trigger. So this model and controller for just user input and output this purpose we are using so when the model it will come so whenever you try to store something or you try to retrieve some some data that time model comes so if you try to pull some data from the databases and um, display to the view that time you just click some action then it try to retrieve data from the database so this data model give that data to the controller this controller give to our view so this is the small cycle for um, MEC pattern okay I will explain you in the web ID the project structures here you just click the your workspace and click right click that new and uh, here you can see that lot of options this time you need to click that project from template SAP already given some templates three different templates so if you click this template in the right hand side you can see what type of template this so this is list report application so this application if you use this template then this boilerplate code it will give like this so if you click that master detail application it will look like this so similarly we have that fury work list application and uh, application with audit of v4 version 4 and uh, sap ufa application it's just an empty application it's all uh, look like this just only header only it will given other than nothing in you can um, customize yourself so if you never see these options 
you just go to this environment and uh, select it new okay then in this category just select the feature if you select it all categories then a lot of options it will show on and it will confuse you so you just select that feature then select that SAP UFI application that last uh, one okay then click next here you can see that it's a project name and namespace it's asking so this project name project name you have that already workspace so next we need to tell our folder name this is the project so this project name we can give uh, add add function okay and uh, namespace we can use this namespace to call our parent folder root folder so that purpose we need to give namespace our namespace dev now then click the next button here you can see a lot of options view type and view name so in the view type if you see it's a json javascript and html this view should support it but in this in this sap ufi it everything support but most commonly all companies and all projects it's developed by xml view so our section also only focusing xml not other views okay then view it view name and click next and click that finish button then it will create a empty template for you you don't need to create from the scratch to write all things okay so our project created successfully if you see this this is our project name we given right so add function inside just expand that web app in the web app you can see that model view controller patterns so where the model view you just see it's a model inside model.js they give something and view so this view is a dot xml extension just click then you can see like this okay then controller so it's a dot js extension it's a javascript okay so so this mvc pattern it automatically created while we creating a project from template last video we discuss about that cdn right so where the cdn it will locate in this web app folder you can see the bottom it's a index.html it's a web app folder it's a root and uh, if you click this index then you can see this src script and src so this is cdn last time we hard coded cdn from SAP cockpit but this time this web ID have that some source files that's why we don't need to give that uh, HTTPS and uh, SAP UFI.HANA and the one.com we don't need to given if you given 
no problem it's both are same okay so now you know that how to create a um, project from template in the web ID. okay so in the ppt we saw that uh, two inputs and uh, one button right so this one we're going to create here so content so our all component we're going to uh, bind inside the content so we need to first take the input text and button properties and uh, some related functionalities so where we can get this information just go to sap ufi dot hana on demand dot com then you can see that all controllers on the all input everything all control information you can see here this is official documentation for SAP UFA application okay here first we need to take a label so label SAP M library has its label. So just look at this class name. So we can call class or controller. Okay. So SAP M dot label. So in this MVC, we can simply type label then close that end tag it automatically create a close tag you don't need to write that close tag yourself then just look at this documentation here you can see that properties so this properties you see it's a text and a width warping and warping type and record record it's a in above called mandatory or non mandatory like some indicator it will uh, notice like asterisk symbol okay so we're going to use the text property for this label and give that value input 1 and we need one input so input we need to look so just uh, remove this label and uh, give that input value in the API reference then select that input controller then click the properties here you can see that a lot of properties it's one of the property name called value so value help only value live update but value is not there don't worry just click that show borrowed properties that means some parent controller having this option if you whenever you enable this show borrowed properties it will show you that some parent properties just look value okay now you see it's a value is there so it's a parent controller having this property it's a value okay so this value only we're going to use 
just copy and uh, give this value is a 2 and uh, similarly we are going to write another one label and text input to and uh, our second input value is a 5 then we need to create a button so button just go to our documentation and um, give that button SAP M button check the properties and uh, check the text give some text add ok this is for our view just save this app then select that add function whatever name you given for the project and just select and click that run button then it will asking that which file you want to run now you just select that index.html ok just click ok now we just uh, configure our xml view only so our view now it will load up but we are not function anything just creating a view for example if you click this button it's nothing happening because we not creating any event functions and uh, we are not um, binding here anything any function we are right that's why it's not perform anything so this is our MVC pattern some examples so next video we are going to discuss some little bit deeper about this XML view okay thank you